I'm not going anywhere today that I think is good. Well, or that I already know is good. So you're still searching. You're searching Yeah, I'm looking for more. ain't on many of it. See that one? He still got it. What was that a five pounder? He came all the way out the water. I mean, all the way out the water. Whole thing. Dude, his whole back came out of the water. That was a big one. That was a big one. That's how you wake up in the daggum morning right there, dude. Dude. So do you have a set of baits that just doesn't have hooks? Well, this frog actually has hooks, but I but I I didn't I didn't adjust them. Look at that, that's another good one. I just know I just know with the frog, if I don't add any tension at all, it can't hook me. But no, I don't have. Yeah, I don't have to cut hooks off mine because I can't catch them with hooks. Hook. <laughs> God. Oh my God. See right there? <laughs> that was a little one, but. That's what we were looking for right here. This is what we was looking for. Dude, that sucker came with that bush. I gotta ask, with them chasing shad, why use a frog? Because I can get it in there. I have a spook on also, but they uh getting up in the bush has been a big key. That's a gar. That's a good one. Not today, but no, nah, yeah, I agree. I got that jig right there. I just took the hook and rolled around a circle, you know? Let's go check this other one over here, this other bank. Yeah, that was a big one. I ain't been able to get it to work, but I know it's gonna be one out there in them freaking trees. There's some biggest on the bank though. There was one day of practice where I had like some big old bites. Right. It's big. <laughs> but I didn't I didn't hook any of them. We're about to get crushed right here. This is it right here. It's about to go down. This is a place I hadn't even checked yet. But I was here earlier in the year and there was so much grass in here. I just know there's bass that live in this little creek too. And off this little arm had the best grass when the water wasn't so high. There's a good one. Did he take it? 
I for a second, if I if I would have set the hook at the right time, I maybe could have caught him. But like my line swam this far is all. He he didn't have it super good. He just reacted to it. Yeah. That one that one wasn't that big either, but he was a nice one. I, I didn't see him, but you could just tell. I think more of them are moving shallow, I think. Or I don't I can say that. I think more of them are starting to bite. It's just this lake is not real far along. It's not far what? Along as far as the spawn. You know, like the I, I would imagine right before the water came up there was fish on bed pretty regularly. I would I would imagine. I can't say for sure, but I mean I was on four right before I came over here that was still spawning there and I know that place is ahead of here. Yeah. So little mayflies. They ain't uh they ain't on the right kind of cover. one in here because how are them little bites don't want to be shaking off 12 inches thinking I got something all right everything's a mess we're rigging rods right now for day one of the Bassmaster Classic it starts in the morning at 6 15 a.m. you know it's kind of a, a easy week you know you, there nothing can hurt you if you zero both days it doesn't hurt me at all as far as points go for the Elite Series it doesn't affect the outcome of me staying on the elite or anything like that it's just a tournament where if we do good it can really help us if we do bad it can't hurt us at all so really excited for this week we're rigging everything up now trying to get all the baits we have where we're pretty much going to commit shallow we're going to rig up a couple of deep rods probably going to leave those in the rod locker and try to fish shallow all the time so looking forward to tomorrow hopefully we get us a couple of big topwater bites and then go flipping so we're going to try to rig inside because it is hot we got to rig in the air conditioner down here in texas because it is daggum hot out there for sure sport everybody that had the best year last year no matter who's in the opens the bass nation or the bass master elites everybody gets to come together and we all get to showcase you know our accomplishments for the past year so for me it's a really good opportunity to further yourself but it's a really good tournament because you have a lot of upside if you do win or have a good finish but it can't hurt you at all as far as points go for the elite so it's a good week to have no stress and really gamble and hopefully you know have a really good coming out party is this your first class first class ever yeah. So, it, I've always dreamed ever since I was like eight or nine years old that I wanted to fish the Bassmaster Classic, but it never really seemed like a reality until I finally qualified for the Elites. Even qualifying for the Elites seemed like a far-fetched goal, and then it all just kind of happened super, super fast. So, my entire life is all I've ever wanted to do, and then it came together faster than I ever imagined. What do you think about Taku? I love Taku. He's awesome. It, it, he's it's so impressive the way he's coming over here and his... His uh, vocabulary as far as English and speaking English is getting better extremely quickly, and he's a super good angler I've already learned a ton from. Thank you so much. No problem. Good Thank you. While Kyle is rigging, I'm just going to show you what tornado went off in his boat. There's like five, six rods on the back deck. There's some rods. There's a line up there. There's Kyle. Yeah, there's, there's rods everywhere. I have one rod, one rod in the rod compartment right now because it's ready. And also, out of the 40 rods I have, 40 point blank rods I have, there is three right there that's also ready to go in the rod locker, so. We're getting somewhere, we're getting a little something. We got three out of 40 now. Not bad, not bad. Do you like it, Hama? I like it. Are you ready? I am super duper ready. You got all your tackle done? Did it start? Probably haven't started. My rods are in my truck. How much of the bread can I have? None. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that does bring it all together. I was gonna say, don't forget that. I can tell. <laughs> all right, brother. So what order are you putting these in here? Offshore, very first. Offshore. Then what? Then uh, jerk bait, swim bait. Let me guess the baits will be on the very top. Alright. Ready? Yep. Um, missile D-bomb. Yep. Spro frog. Yep. And a wacky Very good guesses. I think you just got lucky. I got lucky? Yep. Are those the three correct ones? Those are very, very correct ones. Let them know. We're at the Night of Champions, which for everybody that qualified for the Bassmaster Classic in Fort Worth at a restaurant. There's Longhorns over there. What's up guys, it's Clint with Black Rifle Coffee. We are doing an ultimate outdoor giveaway. We're giving away a boat and truck. And all you gotta do is text BLAST OFF to 91852. All right, here we are at the Bassmaster Classic Expo. So when you're not on the water, you gotta work in the expo. That's what happens. So it's a lot better to be on the water fishing than to be in here working but I'm just making the most of it we got all kind of exclusive colors we got a ton of people here and it is really really cool to see people face to face again you know 